Howdy, y'all. Okay, let's get banned. Let's get banned? Why? Oh, gee, I don't know. See, I had this request yesterday, and I was like, I don't know if I want to do requests. I keep saying I don't know if I want to do a request. But then I was like thinking about it, and I was like, hold on a minute. Maybe I do want to do a request. You know why? Because I can make you guys pay. I can make you guys pay big time. I'll tell stories about the songs. That's what I'll do. So it was, uh, it was about the... I just keep going to the... Um, so that song, that song for me, well, first, commercial, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, that would be amazing because I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so that I can give away guitar when I reach a thousand. Okay, commercial voiceover. So anyways, that song, uh, giving back my bullets, um, for me, it, it takes on new meaning just because um, it is, I want me back. I want my body back. Uh, somebody took my body away from me, and I want it back. Uh, for Ronnie Van Zant, that's not what it meant. For Ronnie Van Zant, what it meant was he wanted another sweet home Alabama. So, um, yes, this is the part where you guys got to endure my my stories of, of yore because I was there. And in the 70s, we had these things called radio stations, real radio stations, where you would just turn on a, a radio and you could tune in to different stations along the dial and... There were things that they used to do that were different from now, and there were there were guys that would talk like this, and it was a hey, it's number one with a bullet heading up the charts, and that's what it was. It was the number one with a bullet heading up the charts. Give me back my, uh, excuse me, um, Sweet Home Alabama was their hit, and he wanted more hits. That was their bullet, man. That is what he was saying. He wanted his bullet. He wanted a hit song back. That's what he was saying by "Give me back my bullets." He wanted to be back on the charts. He wanted to be going on the charts. And he wanted another hit song. That's what he was talking about with Give Me Back My Bullet. And this, this here, this that everybody gets all upset about, this to me, this is a representative of that old Skinner, that Skinner from 73, from a long time ago, from an era when you, this wasn't taken as it is now, when you could... When it could mean something different, and to me it means something completely different. It, all, you know, to me, it's warm fuzzies. To me, it's go out and listen to Simple Man. It is a way to live your life, and it is not racism. It is more just being a simple person, just being true to yourself, true to the Creator, true to the universe, true to nature, true to everything. And it has nothing to do with hatred at all. Um, it's turned into that, but um, and it used to be. Well, I don't know what it, what it meant to the people back then. I wasn't there. So um, I can only tell you what it meant in the 70s, and it was more of just a, the feeling of, hey, you know, I'm a kid, but I'm also, I want to be heard. And that's why we called ourselves rebels, because we weren't being heard and we wanted to be, and that was the way to do it, was to be a rebel, to be out of the mainstream, I guess, um, which I always have been. So that's why that's why I have this guitar, and that's why I say I'll probably get banned because somebody will see this and go, "Oh my God, he's a redneck, he's a racist," and I'm <laughs> not. So, uh, you know, <laughs> whatever. And 
uh, but th this to me is uh, it was you know just part of of the gimmick of Skinner when they went to to Great Britain. They were like yeah, they call her they kept calling them Yankees, and they were like we ain't Yankees. And you know I get it because I am a Yankee. And you know there's a part in, uh, there's a song called uh, The End of the Road. And you know it, it makes it all well worth our time to know our bus bus is rolling towards that Mason Dixon line. Guess what? It works both ways. It works for me going north because I'm like, damn yeah, get me back north. I want to be back. Oh yeah. So it does work both ways too. And you know um, I'm a northern boy. Definitely a northern boy. And uh, can't escape it. You can take a boy out of New Jersey, but you can't take New Jersey from the boy, you know. That's true. And uh, So let's see if we can get banned. I hope you all are having a great day. Always look up. It is God's day. It's Sunday, I think. I think. So always look up. He's there for you. And I'll see you then. Peace!